Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Dalal CTP Kahat program sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange. So on Friday, though markets closed almost flat, uh, towards the end of the day, the IV spiked. And option premiums in December, September, October, both calls also went up and put also went up. And that's mainly because on Friday night, uh, and the Jackson Hole Summit, uh, Fed chairman was supposed to speak. And people were expecting uh, some kind of a big gap up or big gap down based on what he talks. Finally, he spoke very dovishly. And he said, you know, he has given a hint that in September FOMC meeting, the interest rates will be cut. And of course, we have to wait and see whether they are going to cut 25 basis point or 50 basis point. The markets are expecting 50 basis point in September meeting, uh, as well as another 50 basis point before the end of the year. So that's why if you see uh, the IVs for uh, four month options, say for example, if you look at 25,000 call option and put option, call also increased by about 20 rupees, put also increased by 20 rupees. And that was not very evident in the current month option because current month option, you have only four more trading sessions. The IV spike was visible in uh, four month options. So anyway, uh, things have gone well in favor of the bulls. The Fed chairman has spoken dovishly, US markets closed higher and give Nifty indicating uh, another 100 point gap up on Monday morning. So as I told you earlier, so there was one gap at 24,700 that was filled. There is another gap at 25,000 to be precisely 25,020. So that sooner or later that is going to be filled. Uh, we still have four more trading sessions. And GIF Nifty indicates, uh, you know, Nifty opening above 24,900. Then to touch that 25,020, it's just a matter of half a percentage point. You know, if index heavyweights like Reliance and HDFC Bank move uh, half a percent or one percent, that can be achieved very easily. So, therefore, the markets are uh, bullish. There is no doubt about it. And as I've been saying, I'm also maintaining some kind of a bullish view um, until September. You know, uh, any trouble that comes to the market. So, as of now, I feel that it can happen only in the October series. Haryana and Kashmir elections ending on October 1 and October 4 is the vote counting day. So maybe that can have, but again, uh, those two states are not very important. So the very important one is a Maharashtra, but uh, Maharashtra dates has not been announced. So I think it is likely to be uh, delayed uh, towards the end of October or beginning of November. Uh, Maharashtra State Assembly period will be over by 26th of November. So before that, they have to um, get the things done. So even, you know, October also, uh, you may not see any big reaction. Maybe in November and December we can expect. So anyway, for the next few months, you know, things are not going to be uh, very smooth. You know, once market touches all time high, Again, you know, some kind of a profit booking may come and this and that. So be ready for some kind of a volatility going forward. And coming back to the current week, you know, uh, I'm still holding the view that the recent high uh, that is 50, 25,080. So that should be the resistance. And now we can say for the whole month, I've been saying 24,000 and 25,000 but we still have only four more trading sessions. You know, uh, there's no point in uh, looking at 24,000, which is far away. Uh, unless, you know, people are moving options to the next month. So if somebody selling September or October, 24,000 may be safe, but definitely 25,000 call is not safe. So for the time being, you know, we assume that, you know, uh, 24,000 to 26,000 is there. Uh, broader range for the next two months. So for the current month, you know, 24,500 to 25,100 may be the range, which is exactly 
300 point plus or minus from where uh, Nifty closed on Friday. Uh, there are some economic data here and there, but there is no important economic data. So any economic data related to inflation uh, can make markets more jittery. But now we have some data like, you know, uh, housing data and then consumer confidence data, Germany GDP data. So I don't think that those things are going to affect the market in any big way. Uh, in India also, I don't think, you know, usually the last week there is no uh, important data. So last week usually, you know, dictated by the positioning of the people. Those who have taken long, if they uh, book the profit, market can fall. Those who have shorted, if they started covering their shorts, market can go up. So normally in the last four trading session, Nifty has the potential to move about one and a half to two percent. Uh, you know, so because you know this gamma effect only, uh, they can play with the option sellers. So otherwise, there is nothing uh, going to be very big. You know, markets are trading with the positive bias. So continue to trade with positive bias. So. Uh, looking at the open interest, I already discussed you know, those kind of things last time. And uh, since I'm having a workshop in Mumbai, I didn't have time to look at all those things. Maybe tomorrow I can come out with some better report. So hope you enjoyed listening to this audio podcast. As I'm having workshop in Mumbai, there is no video today. Thank you for watching.